Welcome back to Views with Hughes or Jennifer News. This is Jerome Hughes. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. So now we see here that the studios and Hollywood major production companies are now planning a big move against the strike itself. Okay. So this is coming in from the different trades where several major Hollywood studios and streaming platforms are contemplating the termination of some of their first look and overall deals with writers as well as actors as early as August 1st, according to multiple sources familiar with the agreements and discussions within these companies. Now, these terminations or these layoffs that may be coming of these deals will be executed through the force majeure clauses in the contracts while the ongoing strikes led by sag after and the writers guild excuse me of america are still in effect now what force majeure basically is is like a, a basically like kind of a, a law where it um, will lead up to like termination for a certain party not to who is not living up according to their contractual means if you will where it gets kind of tricky and everything where it describes like unforeseeable um, circumstances that would prevent somebody from fulfilling the contract. Okay. In this case where actors are refusing to go back to work or trying to force to go ahead and come to an agreement with the studios. Okay. But with that being said, Insiders from both the creative community and the corporate side reveal that the decision makers may initiate the process of ending these agreements as soon as next week. Now, many of these deals were initially suspended just one week into the strike back in May. And this includes Amazon, HBO, and Warner Brothers TV, NBC Universal, Disney, as well as CBS among the producers who suspended these deals. So in other words, the number of the projects and movies and um, shows that's associated with these companies they're about to go ahead and be, you know, suspended. In my opinion, might as well just go ahead and cancel them because of the fact that these particular projects, a lot of people are not going to be a fan of. OK, might as well go ahead and cancel it and start from scratch and hopefully get all the woke elements out of it. So that way you have more audiences coming back to enjoy them. OK. Now, the writer's strike is approaching the 90 day mark and historically the critical period when deals could be terminated under what's called the act of God concept, which refers to force majeure in the entertainment industry's labor shutdown context. Now, the deals in question include primarily related to television, as well as numerous as noted by numerous insiders. Now, there's also major agencies representing writers that have not received official notices about the August 1st deadline, but they may expect to receive communication in the coming week. Now, during the 0708 strike, the term deals were immediately canceled, but the current situation is more complex due to the significant increase in current production, excuse me, contact on pro content production driven by st on streaming platforms. Now, the first look and overall deals have become more prevalent since then. Now, consequently, the top talent now includes safeguards in their contracts to protect and against force majeure ensuring that their packs cannot be terminated selectively now some industry professionals find it ironic that these protections exist for mega deal holders as the writers guild of america have been event advocating for better contracts especially for mid-range tv writers who may have be more vulnerable to force majeure now these mid-range deals typically pay out between eight hundred fifty thousand to three million dollars per year now however Apart from contractual terms, the money saved by studios from terminated deals would be relatively insignificant compared to the potential negative public relations impact. Now, these studios have been criticized during the, both the Hollywood union strikes for being perceived as greedy and prioritizing cost cutting measures, including you, the use of artificial intelligence to replace human workers. And here's the thing, though. We have a number of writers here who the fans just like their writing and the content and everything who criticize their works asking for more money and the studios that have no choice but to go ahead and tell the writers to go to work otherwise you'll be either replaced by someone else or we'll go ahead and use ai and save a lot of money okay and as we've seen from many youtube videos ai has been doing a good job a better job at writing scripts for movies as well as shows better than these writers have who are um, actually human writers partaking in the strike. 
Now, while not all deals, deals were suspended at the beginning of the strike, some producers continued working on projects that were already in progress. However, with the SAG after strike on halting most remaining projects, these lingering deals may also face suspension as work runs out. The entertainment industry is closely observing how these strikes unfold as there are contractual and non-contractual elements at play and the outcome may depend on the relationships and cultures within individual studios and platforms. Okay. So now we see where writers and actors alike are going here doing this strike. Studios are basically going out against them. And also before you know it, I guarantee you the studios may be turning to those who are social media influencers to go ahead and be, be um replace actors in some certain projects okay i don't and that may go ahead and give more of a following for those who are already social media influencers and stuff like those on tiktok instagram so on and so forth okay where they'll be able to make um some money less than what they would pay the um regular actors on the stars and stuff and they'll be seen as scabbers by the actors okay even Sarah Silverman came forward and stating that those who, who are actors and everything decide to go ahead and take the SAG indie route and everything, just go ahead and be able to work and still make money. She called them scabbers as well. But this is what happens whenever you go ahead and put out there the um a certain virtue signaling political political ideology trying to alienate the viewers as well as consumers. You lose them, and what happens? You lost you lose the the studios lose money, and now here we are with the different strikes with the writers and the actors. So let me know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Let me know what went wrong in the video. Also, be sure to smash the like button and share far wide across social media. If you enjoy all the content I put out there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification so that we know you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. And also, if you have any additional thoughts pertaining to this particular topic, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Like I said, if you enjoyed all the content I put out there, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Click the bell notification so that way you'll be notified of future uploads and updates. Until then, peace.